So the question was, what sustains me? Faith, passion, Teddy. Through it all. Teddy's one of the things. It's not the only thing. You know what sustains me? I don't even know what sustains me. I'll tell you. No, I'm not going to answer it now. I'm going to give you the, a, a real answer. Many years ago, there was a young man who had grown up in the slums who had decided he wanted to be a college professor. And this young man worked three jobs. He wrote 20 books to get his Ph.D. from a great university because all of his liberal college professors said the uh, Ph.D. is a union card. And once you get the union card, you will be granted your professorship. And this young man, who had two children at the time, was denied 200 jobs, not because he didn't have a nearly a, an A average out of the university in his Ph.D., not because his Ph.D. wasn't publishable because it became a book. It was so brilliant but because he was a white male in an age when they were not hiring white males in the universities. Instead of the white male in the university, they needed diversity in the university, which is why we have such superb uh, coursework and uh, uh, such going on in the universities today. And so the young man was kind of really beaten up by society because of the social engineering of the left. And things went from bad to worse. Two young children, how am I going to support them? A lot of worry. And then one day in the darkest of moments, this young man went out on his deck in the middle of a forested area where he lived, and he prayed to God to give him a living. He said to God, God, why hast thou forsaken me? He said, God, I've tried so hard. I've done everything right. God, why hast thou forsaken me? Please, God, give me a living. I did not ask for fortune. I did not ask for fame. He asked only for uh, a living. And lo and behold, through fate, he was given a living. Not in the way he thought it would come, nor did it come as a lottery win. He didn't win a lottery where he could just go off into the sunset. It came with a, with a price. The price tag is to give your heart and soul every day, three hours a day, and you'll make a great living. And everything you've dreamed of will come to you. But you have to work every day. That's the relationship. And so how did that happen? Because in order to get there, he had to be thrown into the cauldron. And in order to come out of the cauldron, now case hardened, a different man, he had to put aside an awful lot of things. He had to learn that all things in the world were almost meaningless except one thing, which was survival itself. He learned to put aside all of the liberal claptrap he had been taught in university about follow what and you enjoy and you will. Remember those days? The, oh, follow what you enjoy and the living will follow. Oh, it's so outrageous that uh, we have turned our university into mere trade schools, they used to say. They are, they're meant for expanding the mind, opening you up to the literature and the poetry. Well, I'm all for it as an avocation. But you can't get a job except in Starbucks, all you literate people. You know, that's all that's waiting for you. And you can't even make change properly. Nor can you make a good double latte with soy milk, by the way. So he learned to put aside all of that. And he learned that only one thing mattered. And that was called survival. That's all. So in that time, he learned to survive. He learned how to survive. He learned what that meant. He learned that he had to drop friends who were not his friends. He learned he had to drop friends who were really his enemies. And he learned that he had to look at the enemies who now became his friends in a different light. And he learned that books that he had once read were of no value whatsoever. All of the stuff that was between these book covers were written by people who basically couldn't make a living. They were malcontents. That's why they wrote books. He figured out. And then he decided how to make a living, and he made a living. So what I'm getting at is survival is a, tech, is a series of techniques and I'm using the same survival techniques right now. That's what keeps me going. In other words, there's nothing mystical about it. There's nothing mystical at all. I get up every morning, and I got to get up and go on the air, and I get up and go on the air. I you know, prepare for it. I read. I bring in whatever, and bing. And I hire the lawyers, and that's the end of it. Why do I do it? I do it. That's the answer. I have no reason why I do it. I do it because I do it. Okay? I speak, therefore I am. I'm Michael Savage. I'll be right back. Savage. 